That was Saturday night. That was the voice of Pat McAfee, who was on the call for WWE, one of the scripted events at WrestleMania. And we all know it's all scripted and planned at this point, but it still can be interesting and exciting and ultimately entertaining. That's what the E now means. It used to be WWF. Now it's WWE. So it's totally wrestling. gone. The WWF that doesn't ex that doesn't exist anymore. That, like I, I didn't really know if I knew that exactly. I thought maybe it was still part of the deal somehow, some way. What happened was right. WWE lost a real life wrestling match in the legal arena. Okay, to the world. What is it? What is it now? Wildlife the, Federation. Yes. Way World to go. Wildlife Eat fun. that. Yes. Boom. Yes. Captain Planet. Captain one Planet. Of, one of Eat Vince it. McMahon's various losses. Uh, was the losing. panda bear put Vince McMahon in a headlock. See ya. <laughs> actually, uh, yes. it was actually the first. <laughs> it was the first WrestleMania ever, and it was the 40th WrestleMania. It was the first one without Vince McMahon involved in it because he's been uh, removed from the company for I'm amazed uh, by it. I'm amazed. There's things that I really I don't want to get into the specifics because yeah. I don't know the specifics right. and I don't want to defame him and get sued by him. Right. But there was something that happened and now he's gone. I don't follow it closely enough to know, but yeah. it was stuff that would justify the end result, apparently, or the end result would not have happened. The end result yesterday, Jason Kelsey and Lane Kiffin, Lane Johnson, Lane Kiffin. Now that would have been that would have been big time. Lane Johnson. Wow. Lane Johnson and Jason Kelsey uh, doing some shenanigans outside the ring to help Rey Mysterio, I think. Was that one of the names? That name's been around wrestling for a long time. It Rey has. Mysterio and the other guy uh, to win some sort of a tag team wrestling thing. And if you watch closely, you'll see that, that Jason Kelsey is the one engaging in the physical activity. Lane Johnson is simply like holding a chair and raising a chair and climbing in very carefully into the ring. Kelsey jumps up and over. We've seen that jumping up and over, though, when he jumped up into the box in Buffalo in the divisional round game when he came out shirtless. Lane Johnson didn't do anything for one very specific reason. You can't when you're under contract with an NFL team. You can't. You can't wrestle. You can, and even though it's all fake and scripted and everybody knows the results in advance, it still is a physical activity that can lead to injury. And it's the kind of thing that they don't want football players under contract doing as your Tennessee Titans learned. And as Pac-Man Jones learned the hard way, this was before you were in Tennessee. This was 07, the right. year he was suspended for the entire season because of multiple violations of the personal conduct policy, he decided he was going to wrestle on the side. I mean, what the hell? He suspended. The Titans took him to court, much like the WWF with the WWE. The Titans took him to court and got an injunction preventing him from doing anything physical. He was allowed to be there, but he was just basically a spectator because there's language in the contract preventing the standard player contract prevents that kind of stuff that's why you didn't see lane johnson hit anybody with that chair he just kind of grabbed the chair away held the chair climbed into it the was ring, so violent he might have been it hurt so good thing he didn't, he didn't. it was so violent i was so scared well, for him oh my well, god you never it know was, yeah. you never know oh my but, gosh but get you out can of tell, here but that but i guarantee <laughs> but I'm, t I'm telling you i'm telling you don't start with me don't start i don't want to give the the sites out there that cover the media, I don't want to give them something to write about today. So don't start. Don't you start. Good. Don't start. Jeez. Right. I, that was fun last week. Uh, I, I knew it was going to happen as we were doing it on Thursday, as we were getting into our own wrestling match, which was not fake. It was natural. It was organic. It was real. And then it was over. But, you know, people think that, like, we were mad at each other and there's some lingering issue and parallels I between Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs. And it's like. Shit, we forgot about it by the time the show was over. Yeah, I already forgot it. Why are you bringing it up again? I mean, get over it. Let's move on with life. Jeez, I, I mean, I just not no. You're, we're talking I, WWE I'm having fun. here. Let's go. Let's. I'm move having on. fun. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm really, I'm right. still amazed with the WWE. I am that it has that type of power. I, I literally, it's one of those things where I go, what people went there to a stadium to watch that? They're turning on a TV. To watch that, I I just don't get it. That's one where I just don't understand 
how we're going to watch a bunch of grown men in costumes go fake wrestle with each other and do stuff and be like, yeah, yeah, I know your head didn't hit there when Jason Kelsey threw you. In fact, your hand was like this and then you went like that and fell. But yeah, like I just am amazed by that. It's like it's a psychology oh. experiment in our country. It just what, what but, how gullible. But, what is I that? Mean, I don't even know what it is. People watch the NFL and it's rigged and scripted too. So yeah, I mean, yeah, six and right. one half a dozen of the other. That's right. Right. right yes. Uh, <laughs> there was a time when they actually tried to perpetrate the idea that it was real. I remember. And when they decided to go ahead and let everybody know, like, oh, what's going to happen? Nobody cares. Everybody knew. At some level, they knew. Viscerally, they knew. I remember when I was a kid and I would watch it on TV. Like, I got a feeling when somebody punches somebody else, they don't stomp on the ground when they do it <laughs> yeah. to create the sound right, right. of the punch. And there's no follow through. Yeah. It's this lame punch that kind of bounces off the guy's head. And my dad used to take me. The WWF used to come to Wheeling, West Virginia, periodically. And he'd take me. And I'd love it. And he would tell me it's fake, and I'd get upset with him. Jeez. Not because he was telling me something that I didn't otherwise know. I just didn't want to hear it. <laughs> I wanted to suspend disbelief. We go to a movie. You go to a movie. Watch them all the time. It's all scripted. It's all made up. The outcome is not just predetermined. It's prepackaged. It's already finished. It's not happening as we're watching yeah, it. It's way better. The but punches look know. way more real and everything. Well, true. So, yes. Yeah, so, and they're, but they're vested in real stories sometimes. So, I mean, not all of them right. know what I mean. But, yes. But, yes. but the whole point is it's entertainment. Yes. That's why the E is so relevant. Even though they had to forcibly give up the F, the E makes a hell of a lot well, more sense. Well, the other thing is we talked about this a lot lately, right? When we were talking about The Rock a few weeks ago, when we were talking about it. I mean – did, did Lane Johnson grow? Is Lane Johnson 7'9 now? I mean, look at him on the stage next to the wrestlers. Jason Kelsey is 6'3. He looks like he's 7'4 next to the guys that the, are wrestlers the, for the WWE. If we could re rack that or re show that when they jump up onto the, onto the stage, I mean, look at when they're standing next to each other. It's pretty crazy, actually. And I mean, I know Lane Johnson's huge. He's like 6'7", maybe 6'6", six, six and change. But you see right here, I mean, Jason Kelsey's hugging. They're hugging the guy that's on top of the shoulders of the other guy. And they're the same <laughs> height as him. <laughs> I mean, pretty incredible. <laughs> there have been plenty of NFL players that have been involved in WrestleMania over the years. It is the signature event. It's so big. They use Roman numerals for it just like the super bowl i remember when it started back in 1985 i believe it was was the first wrestlemania and uh, uh, uh pete is telling us don't yuck their yum i don't know what that means pete says it's what teachers say to kids these days don't criticize someone for simply liking something yeah you don't well like. here's another phrase so, that th that show is so mid it's so mid it's ridiculous there's that <laughs> that phrase the young phrase <laughs> that's, yeah they got that one it's mid that show all right <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it is amazing though it is amazing that people will flock to the site of wrestlemania and it was open air all weekend long in Philadelphia. What if it had rained? What if it had snowed? What if it had been cold? Wow. I mean, April I six outside. and seven yeah. in the Northeast, you're rolling the dice. It snowed on you Friday. Could get, <laughs> yeah, you could get some interesting, but you know what? Those folks still would have been there, and I'm not begrudging them. I'm not criticizing. There is a passionate, passionate following for something. I think it's like our love of larger-than-life superheroes even if they aren't really larger than life, but it just shows you what that spectacle does. It'll take somebody who's five, seven and make them seem much larger yes. until Lane Johnson and Jason Kelsey <laughs> step into <laughs> right. the ring. And then you see what really is larger than life. And maybe that's why we haven't seen Gronk wrestle. They can't, ha I mean, Gronk, Gronk would blow up the whole spot. Gronk steps in and he's twice the size of the average wrestler. It's like, Oh, well, we can, we can't, we can't do that. Maybe Andre, the giant was just six, three. Uh, I, I've all. seen so. like Hulk Hogan. He was legit six four. I, I, you know, he lived in Tampa, right? 
So that was that's what I was just gonna say. I was gonna go. Did did we lose the bigger wrestler? A part of that, you know, that last generation there. Andre the Giant certainly was. I don't know how officially tall yeah, he, he was, was but he was way up yeah. there, right? Yeah. Macho yeah. Man wasn't really tall. No, Macho we talked Man about was that. Not very tall. No, no, yeah. I I met him. I was he was one of the guys I met at, as a young kid when I was still in that seven eight age, and I was in the age of wait, Dad, I think this is still real. Are you sure? Are you sure? I told. I think I told you I saw him at the airport and. You know, he was five seven, and it was uh, you know, it it hurt my soul a little bit because I had built him up in my eyes so much bigger in in my brain through through the years. Andre the Giant reportedly was seven four, and there's a picture somewhere of him holding a beer can, and it's like he's holding a thimble. Right, it really is. Yeah. So he he was he was a true and literal. Giant. giant yes but a lot of these guys might not be hi it's mike florio thanks for watching pft on youtube hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from pro football talk